Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name's David, and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're gonna look at Hybrid from Danny Weiser. All right, so Hybrid, what is it? It's a self-released title from Danny, and at its core, it's a moving hole effect. It's a moving hole effect done with a dollar bill. Most of the time we see this is done with a playing card. There's a ton of moving hole playing card style tricks on the market. This is done with a dollar bill, and I gotta say, it's probably my favorite one. There's a couple of different ways that Danny teaches you to do this, but at its core, uh, you could borrow a bill, it could be signed, uh, you could take out a hole punch at this point, punch a hole through it, the spectator can see the hole, they can see all the way through the hole, and then you put your fingers over it, and then you slide the hole to the other side, you release, and they can see through the other side as well. You then heal the bill right in front of them and hand it back with no switches. They can keep the bill. It can even be borrowed. Let's talk about this review. All right, so a couple questions we always ask about all of our reviews, and the first thing is, what's in the box? What's in the box? You're gonna get a CD sleeve. Inside the CD sleeve is a little card that gives you access to the video download. Video download's roughly 53 minutes, so you get an hour of instruction, which is awesome. And you're gonna get the gimmick, and we're gonna talk a lot about it. Is it what I thought? Uh, you know, there's a lot of moving hole effects on the market, like I was saying. I think, you know, they all get inspired from Holy Moly and, you know, various others. You can search moving hole magic trick uh, either on one of your favorite magic store websites. You're going to see a, just a slew of moving hole effects. So this has been done. I think right now uh, there's even one that's really super popular with a pen and a card that's floating around the internet. So we see these things all the time. So just to ask, you know, is it what I thought? I mean, if you're already familiar with the moving hole effect or plot, I don't think you'll be surprised. I don't think you'll be surprised by the method, but I think you will be impressed by the gimmick. How are the angles and can it be inspected? Uh, angles are what they are, you know, obviously there's a gimmick and so obviously uh, you could flash. There's always that possibility that you could flash, but, but I think with Danny's routine, you could really keep that down to a minimum pretty easily. As far as inspectability goes, like I said, you can borrow the bill, you can have it signed. There's no switches at all, no switches involved, and you can hand the bill right back in front of them. All right, so what's the overall quality and production value of the video? The video instruction starts with a quick tip uh, from Danny, and then it goes into the main video. Uh, a lot of it is shot, looks like in a home where he's standing up against kind of like a corner in a house where there's some framed art behind him. You're gonna get close-up shots. You're gonna get everything you need. It's well mic there's no weird music. Um, it's then gonna go into the main video, uh, and then the commercial, and then how to handle the gimmick. Uh, Daniel will go over some history and some credits. He'll also talk about prepping the gimmick once you receive it. Uh, he'll talk about how to load a spectator's bill once it's borrowed. And then the first thing he's going to teach you is his pen through bill routine. He's going to talk about the mechanics of the effect, how to do the moving hole effect. And then he'll go through two other fully fleshed out routines. These aren't ideas. He's going to give you the full routine with all the blocking and all the handling. He's going to talk about a black hole routine and the hole punch routine. And then at the end, he's going to give you some care instructions. Is it well made? Hey, this is a trick that Danny's been doing for several, several years. This has been part of his repertoire for a really long time. And he's had designers going over this gimmick multiple times to make sure that you're getting the very best prop. And let me tell you, when I got this out of the package, I was so impressed with how it was made. I was not expecting the materials that this was made out of. And the first thing I thought of when I pulled this out of the box was, this is gonna last me a really long time. I thought, wow, they went above and beyond on the manufacturing of this gimmick, and I think you're gonna be impressed when you find it too. How much practice does it require? Um, it's pretty easy, actually. Uh, a lot of it happens under cover of your hands while you're facing the spectator. But I think if you've ever done the uh, David Copperfield bill switch routine where you change a one into a hundred, uh, I think if you've ever done that, a lot of the blocking and movements might feel the same for you at the beginning and at the end. Just as far as the, the ditch goes, I think that ditch is very familiar to some of us who've done that bill routine. I think if you've done that bill routine, and you've done a moving hole routine, I think if you married those two things together, you're gonna feel right at home. How much setup and reset is there? Uh, like I said at the beginning, there's a little bit of prep that's involved. Um, it requires that you have a certain type of 
aerosol product. And if you don't have it though, I mean, they're pretty easy to find. It's, it's not a hard uh, thing to locate. And as a magician, it's probably a good idea if you had an extra can of it lying around anyway. Positives, all right, so what are the positives? Danny Weiser's Hybrid is the perfect combination of shock and awe. You'll carry this one with you everywhere. Negatives, all right, so what are the negatives? You know, like we say around here, there's negatives to everything. These are just the negatives that I see. They don't have to be the negatives that you see. Um, I think the only negative with this is pocket space. I always worry about pocket space. I try to keep everything as minimal as possible. Um, and you'd think when you see the gimmick, wow, this won't take up a lot of space. But with that one little piece of prep work that you have to do, the only thing I would say is it's, it's packs flat, no problem, packs flat, no problem. But just when you keep it in your pocket, it's probably gonna be the only thing in your pocket, okay? You can't carry it in your wallet, so let's just remove that idea. You can't carry it in your, uh, you, uh, you maybe could carry it in your wallet. You may, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't carry it in your wallet because just, I just wouldn't. It's, it's, I like the gimmick too much. I wouldn't, I, I've seen things get thrashed in my wallet. So it's gonna be in your pocket, but it's like I said, it's gonna be the only thing in your pocket, probably. Um, I think just with the way the gimmick's made and just the prep work that's involved, just understand that it's, it's gonna take up its own space, but I think, it's, I think it's worthy to take up its own space. Is it worth your money? It's 40 bucks, $40, which is a steal for an hour of instruction and this super cool gimmick. And I think if you own that black Bic pen that was the, the, the pen through bill that came out like a super long time ago and I remember when Penguin was pushing it and they had a bunch of videos for it and it was circulating the internet. If you got that and then it just went back in the drawer, if you get this, you're gonna bust that pen back out and you're gonna have, you're finally gonna have a reason to do that effect and then to turn it from just a simple optical illusion into a cold-blooded miracle. Who would like this? I think if you've been trying to get one of these moving hole effects already or this pen through card trick that's floating around and some people have said, ah, it's, it, it looks good on camera, but it doesn't look good in real life. This trick looks good in real life. This trick you can do in real life, okay? And it makes sense because you're borrowing a single US, all right, let's make that clear. It's a US dollar bill. Although I think now there's instructions Danny includes on how to do this with foreign currency. So that's kind of cool. So if you have foreign currency, I believe he's got a video portion now uh, in the download section where he talks about foreign currency, but the gimmick comes with a US $1 bill. So, you know, borrowing that, and like I said, no switches, it's super duper clean. You're not forcing a card or you're not bringing out some random card that they don't have any association with or that they can't sign or that they can't keep, right? This, they can keep. This is amazing, so yeah. All right, so that's everything I can say about hybrid. I wanna thank Danny and Murphy's Magic Supplies for allowing me to have this so that I could do the review for you. And if you would like to purchase it for yourself, you can find it from your favorite magic dealer or wherever quality magic tricks are sold. Thanks, I'll see you guys next time, bye.